Also, it was a busy day in downtown Lisbon. A big part of it was the third annual Hogs and Hot Rods biking car show, coupled with the grand opening of a business. First News reporter Brandon Jaycees talked to the owner about why he picked the historic building and the journey to get it started. I just fell in love with the town. I looked at this building and I fell in love with the building and I knew I needed to be here. Adam Pratt is the owner-operator of Youngstown Cycle and Speed. After 54 years in Youngstown, he decided to move into the old buy-and-buy -buy hardware in Lisbon on Market Street. Uh, my favorite part of this building is the third floor, which is a ballroom that was an Oddfellows Hall. I think it's going to be a social hall eventually. With plans to put a coffee shop in front. Opening probably April. Meanwhile, people were busy checking out what the shop offers. A little of everything, from customizing cars and motorcycles to fabrication work and custom signs. Pratt's also an artist and does custom paint, airbrushing, and pinstriping. We're really grateful that they came to the village to open up shop here. Lisbon Mayor Peter Wilson added that it's great for the economy with more businesses on the way. So we have a Mexican restaurant coming in, and then we have a lunch and breakfast bar coming in. And that's what we need downtown Lisbon. We need more things for people. We need more shops, more restaurants. And I'm hoping this is the beginning of a wave of new investment in the village. I asked Adam if he ran into any problems because he's in a historical building. Now, not far away on Lincoln Way, there's another business that we told you about in August that was getting fined for the decal on its window. Adam told me he didn't, and the town has been absolutely incredible. We tried to keep as much of the original stuff as we could. Just outside, Youngstown Cycle and Speed was hosting the third annual Hogs and Hot Rods Bike and Car Show. People were checking out classic cars, bikes. Some tunes. It's a great little town. It has that small town feeling, but it's hustle and bustle busy all day long. In Lisbon, Brandon JC's WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.